electrical boxes or enclosures, um, external ones, they're, they're great for, well I use them for exterior lighting, it, security lighting, you bring your cable in your main feed and you can connect your fit into it and it keeps it dry. But it doesn't always work like that. Um, these aren't exterior grade, these are IP55, which basically means they'll tolerate a bit of dust and some mold insults. But the exterior grade ones will have better seals, but they may even screw down, but they still get a bit of moisture in them. And the reason being is uh, thermocycling. Basically the thing heats up and cools down and as it heats up, the air inside expands, squishes it out of any little cracks that you may have. As it cools down, it sucks it back in, but it's sucking in moist air. And then overnight it cools down and condensation forms on the surfaces on the inside. Um, you can wrap it in tape, self amalgamating tape, uh, silicon, all that kind of thing. But I had a little bit of an idea. I haven't seen anyone do it, but I might be wrong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and come up with a cheap and easy fix for this. So I'm gonna sacrifice these two boxes and uh, see if we can't fix this problem. I've made a bit of a stand, because I, I wanna mount these two boxes and leave them overnight and see what they do. Um, this has got, I don't know if you can see it, it's got a bit of a curve to it, because I'm thinking it might be a good idea to have this just cranked back slightly, because when I put some water in there, I don't want it being level and just running out. We wanna see where it goes. Um, so that's that stand, just a bit of two before and some old MDF. So first job, first thing we've got to do is we're going to put a little hole in these boxes. This box or these boxes have, have got like a little ridge in the middle. So for the purpose of this experiment, I'm just going to stick to the left hand side. Because um, obviously any water we put in there, we're going to put a, a reasonable amount in, but not too much, obviously. It won't get over this hump. Do this one the same and then we'll get on to the next bit. I've done both the holes and I'm going to pick the cleanest hole because I think yeah, that one there, it'll be a disadvantage. This is the side we're not going to do anything to. I'm just going to fix this to there. This has got a smooth, a smoother hole than this one. This one's got a very slight ridge. It's going to make no difference. This is the side we're going to try the theory on. And this is the side that's just going to have a little bit of water sitting there. So here's the theory. I'm going to use capillary action. So I think surface tension, the water that's in there, surface tension may stop it going down that hole because it's only, it's only two and a half mil wide. So we're going to try and use capillary action using a piece of string. And what we're going to do is we're going to push this in the hole for this one and then put a knot in it and then cut it to length. I've pushed it through the hole and now I'm just going to tie a simple knot in the end of it. And snip off this, some of this excess. but you could bend that over and have it laying in there to get any moisture out of these two. But for this test, we just want it, I just want to see what it takes out of this side. Um, I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter because you wouldn't have that dangling down and put another knot in it so it can't get pulled through. Now my theory whether this works or not, we'll find out, is we've put some water in there, the water gets soaked up by the string, and capillary action will draw it out and it'll just drip off the bottom. So I've got one milliliter of relatively clean water, and we're just gonna try and get this in without spraying it everywhere. It's on that side. And then we'll put another one mil in this side. And obviously this is a lot more than what you should ever hope to get in one of these. Um, but obviously we want to see what goes on. Now this is in a cold workshop, so there's not going to be any evaporation. And I'm not going to clip these lids on tight because I think pulling them off will chuck any water out, which would defeat the object of all this. So I'm just going to rest them on there and we'll come back tomorrow and see if this has done anything. So here we are, we're about 22 hours after I did that original footage. Um, I did have a sneaky peek last night and there was a clear, clear winner at that point. It was about four hours after I did it. Um, but let's get in here and see what happens. So right off the bat, that's the plain side with just a hole. 
And then this is the side with the string. You can see there's a lot more water there. But interestingly, the, the string is dry. Which I wouldn't have thought it would have dried out that quickly, but let me get the camera set up and we'll take the lids off. So if we have a look at this one, try and get this off without. There we go. Put this light in front of you. Hopefully you can see that. There's quite a lot of water in there. Let's move over to this one. I'm going to try and get this off without shaking it around too much. Oh wow, look at that. That worked quite nicely. There's, I can just see, I don't know if you can make this out, there's just a little tiny drop kind of behind the string. This string was wet yesterday when I had a look. It's dry now. I'm surprised about that. I, I wouldn't have thought, being how cold it is in here, it's six degrees overnight. Um, we're in December. I, I wouldn't have thought that would have evaporated as easily as it has. Um, like I say, there was one, milli min one milliliter of water went in there and there's practically nothing left. 99.9% .9 of it is gone. And in here, I would say there's a quarter left. Um, might be a little bit more, but it's just kind of sat there. It's not really doing anything. You'd probably get it out if you used to touch that, but surface tension, I think, is what's holding that in. And capillary action works really well. But yeah, interested to see what you think about that one. Um, if you can do me a favour, <laughs> Like and subscribe, help me grow the channel. I'll see you on the next one.